you guys really like watching the Geek Room and Dragnaut, their shows are like so fucking boring. These basement dwelling dumbass men have to say. They're not even funny. They have to use like people like me or G-Man in order to present themselves off a little bit of funny because they once in a while they say some clever thing. They, they. I give you views to feed your little cocky ego. I'm glad you had your little dopamine fix. Oh my god! I'm like your drug. I'm like your marijuana. I'm like your alcohol. You have shimmyism. You're not an alcoholic or or or, or a drug addict. You're a shimmy holic. You can't, you can't, and, 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 and you say I'm bad for you, but Sally, you still can't fucking resist me. What's up guys? We are back. How's everybody doing today? So we are uh, back again with Lucas uh, for a second interview. Um, so <clears throat> I think uh, what we're going to start with right now is uh, just some right of the questions now. that I could not <laughs> could not get to um, to some of the super chats. So we'll go with that, and I think I got someone coming in. Uh, Lola's wanting to come in. I'm not exactly sure if anybody else is, but um, but yeah. So we, if if you want to, we can go ahead and hit into the super chat questions that I missed uh, last week. If you're ready for that, I know I am, Frank. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Let's. let's I'm trying to find a real good one real quick. Uh, let's see, the Geek Room asks, ask Lucas why he thinks women blushing means that they want to get with him. Uh, also, maybe... Because, maybe because, go ahead. Because it's a really supposed... That's what? And they're usually smiling when they have, when they have the release of serotonin and they seem to chill, so that's a, that's a dopamine. And oxytocin, serotonin, and dopamine is the chemical triplex of love. That, that, that's associated with euphoria, but because someone may or may not be experiencing euphoria, it doesn't always indicate love. There are people who release those chemicals when they're excited about something. So I would like, yeah, how do you actually sure. determine that unless you, you know, are in there like detecting these with some sort of probe? Because uh, they, they uh, they're smiling, which is a release, is a release of cert, and they're calm, calm. So that's a release of dopamine. And tosin, tosin, they're flushing, like standing, like standing there. So I mean, that's I mean, reaction. They're calm, they're calm and happy, and they gather, they gather, going, going, is on. Yeah, these... not like now, not like now when they, I don't know. Yeah, you're breaking up really bad. Are you stationary? Yeah. You may have to switch to like a Wi-Fi or something because it's breaking up really bad. Yeah, it's uh coming in and out, and it's also rebotting. Oh, oh, it seems to put it up. I hope you're... everyone's okay. <laughs> let, yeah, let us know when that is situated. Um, and maybe you're going to... Uh, Wi-Fi at Clinker Dinkers sucks. Hell, hell. They're one of the best restaurants in the 
They got like that they Wi-Fi, have, like they Wi-Fi a... though, bro. Well, they have Earth, 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 uh, uh, eight dollar dollars, and then they have like stuff that's like forty-four bucks. Like I got a way to be steak from somebody the other day, forty-four bucks. He just gave it to me for Christmas. Christmas, Christmas. Yeah, uh, is there a store near you, like uh, some kind of like store in that depot? Yeah, there's a store. There's 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 also one free free. Uh, yeah, go to the store and see if you can get on their Wi-Fi. Um, just because it's. Wait, let me see what's in here. Say that again. It was available in the area. I think it cleared up. Cleared up. Not really. It did not. I would uh, unplug the mic, plug it back in, and may have to refresh because it's definitely echoing on your end. How's that? Different. Does that work? Does that sound better? No, no, no. That's no, way, no, worse. way worse. Really? Yes. Yes. Let me try something. I would. Quality. Yes. So how's your day today, Brown? Or night? Uh I was just thinking to myself, this is this is what you get when you send out a cheap little Caesars pizza. This is the kind of performance you get. Oh man. So, so no nobody to blame here but Frank really at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> But my day is good. What What about you, Drag? Uh, it's I've been playing the pirate game all day, and uh, kind of slipped my mind that uh, delving into the, the 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 mind of the worm once more. Maybe uh, get less interruptions. Okay, are, are we at a better place? Or, well, or, it sounds like it sounds like your character died in some random Atari game. Like that's. Who no, oh, Lucas? Put, no. Uh, uh, put, put your headphones back in. <laughs> There's a lot. Of yeah. There's a lot of interference. Are you near something that produces a, I don't know electromagnetic field or anything? down right here on everybody else's end so yeah um go ahead and mute yourself Hold on. I'm going to mute you. Hey, all right. Say... All right. Go ahead and uh, would say something, Lucas. Oh. Hey. There we go. Oh. But that's way better. Yeah, just, just stay right there. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> okay, let me get to the spot. Let me get to the spot. I jumped from Firefox to Chrome. Uh, okay, Usually yeah. my Firefox looks better than my Chrome. Uh, no, no, if, uh, Firefox doesn't. I, don't, I think Firefox doesn't like Streamlabs, so or Streamyards, rather. I guess uh, it's, it's a new. Uh, I it's a new uh, Internet Explorer. All right. Uh, do you want to um, repeat what you said? Because it's like the new Internet Explorer. No, no, no. <laughs> um, the, uh, no, the blushing, the blushing exactly. Thing. Yeah, but what oh, um, Drag said. I mean, they they're, they want to stick around, so that's oxytocin. They're happy, so it's serotonin, and they're calm, so it's dopamine. I mean, that's the, <laughs> not necessarily I mean, right. That, except for doing a podcast. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. objectively, I mean it's. 
I mean, it's not like they're crying, releasing a bunch of cortisol or something. It's not like they have a bunch of testosterone and they're really angry. You know That's what I mean? Cool. So do, do people... Those are all just different have, have you seen someone smile who's actually angry? Yeah, I mean, it's like cute college-age babes. Right. But, I mean, are they not capable of smiling and also being frustrated or angry? How can you be frustrated and smile at the same time? Because it's a nervous habit. People do it all the time. If you're frustrated, you're not smiling. People do you're that. you're frustrated. That actually, it's, it's funny you mentioned that. There's a very what popular... What snag are you talking about? Is this Red Dwarf? No, this is... I, I, again, I don't know. Maybe you've not run across people like that. But people who are... I've never met anybody frustrated, but they're smiling. Yeah, it's a nervous... It seems impossible. Okay, so what sort of nervous habits are you familiar with? Nervous habits? Yes. I don't know, maybe like nervous laughter if you're afraid? Well, well, okay, or so maybe laughter, you're crying laughter, when you're happy? Well, laughter is, is not that a, a positive trait or a positive behavior that you would normally sure, associate? Sure, yeah. So, okay, so, but with you happiness. just do that as a nervous habit. So if someone can laugh while they're nervous, well, why can't they smile? Well, we were talking about nervousness. Yeah, uh, this is nervousness. You were talking about frustration. Frustration is a completely different emotion from nervousness. Not necessarily. Nervousness is like, I don't know, man. Like nervousness to me conveys fear, but frustration conveys anger, and those are two entirely different emotions. No, that it you would can be, be frustrated with something, but not angry with it, right? You, I can be frustrated with a Rubik's cube, but I won't be angry with it. It's an inanimate object. It's the same way that you can be nervous but not angry. That's a really boring, nervous uh, reaction for like just staring at a Rubik's cube. You'd be like frustrated and just staring at it for five hours. Move, damn you! But you're not angry. You're just frustrated. But you could you could display right the outward affect of a smile if that is your nervous habit. If you are especially so, you're no more. So what you're saying is that what you do is you stare at a Rubik's Cube and you're just smiling at it for six and a half hours because you're frustrated. Yeah, a strange smile, but there are people who definitely do that. Again, there's a there's actually a very popular anime where the main character has a very nervous smile and it's creepy to people because it's betraying what he actually feels. So he just what's he doing for this period of time? He's just smiling from ear to ear. He's very nervous, he's very you know, shock in some cases, but he smiles from ear to ear. It is a very menacing grin, and it throws people off because they can't read what's his. He, yeah, what's he? What's this narcissistic asshole doing? No, he's not a narcissist. He's not. I, I, I don't think that's the trait of a narcissist. Is it? What is he then? He's just he, sitting there smiling like he's going to explode. No, he's he's a protagonist, and he's smiling because he's actually very nervous about what's going on. Sometimes there's a, a woman that he likes, and she may be scantily clad, or there may be you know uh, an opponent that he's trying to face that's incredibly tough. And his first reaction is to smile from ear to ear. What's our man's name here? What's his name? His name. Who is this cat? Yeah, uh, it's, it's, the, it's the anime uh, Fire Force. And uh, uh, Kitsube, I think it is. So he's like a martial arts superhero. Uh, well, he, he had more. Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. So, okay. so Goku here is just sitting there smiling as he's about to kill one punch man or whatever the hell. So, okay. smile. How he, how, actually, I mean, Goku smiles all the time. How long is he, is he going with this smile there? The entire series. It's, it's actually something that's emblematic of his character. Oh, okay. So he just says bronze Adonis about to kick some ass. I I guess. I mean that we'll go we'll go with that. He's but, like Goku. But he's but, like Goku. Sure. But it's okay. you never heard of someone having a nervous smile. Uh Hillary Clinton. Okay. So if a woman has a nervous smile, then presuming that every woman who smiles is doing it out of relation, I think it's it's a bit you know, I, I don't know what you want to call it, but it yeah, I mean, if, a, if, if a woman's uh, frustrated about something, she probably has like some sort of like political issue 
he has to say something, which is which is a good trait to have. Political issue. Now, some women try to avoid doing that because they don't want the guy to kill them. Like if they just meet a new guy and they don't want to give the guy an indication that they may think that you know this guy, this guy may hurt me, they don't want to show fear, so they may just smile to play it off. Yeah, but they're happy. It's what stand-up comedians do to people. I'm not sure how what? this translates to stand-up comics. Uh, I don't know. Or apparently it's this guy on this uh, anime that's going to kick some ass or something. Just sitting there staring at his enemy. I don't know. Seems, I, I, I don't know. I don't... I don't. Well, well, I get it. You may not be familiar with it. That's fine. A, a better question... Sometimes it's just there because... They're noted, and that's usually a point where you can go over and talk to them and just, like, introduce yourself. I, I usually don't because I'm busy whenever this happens. Okay, so have you spoken to any women, like, like platonic women friends who have described uh -huh. interacting with members of the opposite sex males and not being comfortable around them and probably giving off the wrong signal, like smiling when they're actually nervous? I don't know. I mean, I mostly talk to women friends, and one of them's going through a divorce right now and playing around with like different makeup patterns. And like another one is going back to school in Nevada, and she always talks about how she wants to get with me or something. And then I have another friend that's an artist friend, and she's trying to either get me to do commission work for her. She, she's my artist friend in Australia. She's always talking to me and trying to get work or trying to ask me how I'm doing and stuff. She's like 19 or 20. Uh -huh. and then, I mean, that's usually what I talk to are my platonic female friends. And but not anything that even close to what I had asked? Yeah, you kind of I mean, dodge around the question. I'm not sure what you're asking. Okay. I mean, that, that would have been nice to know earlier. Uh, that's, that's okay. Man, did you have <laughs> anything... Um, you, you know what? I, I, I think uh, it's probably best to just move on to the next uh, <laughs> question we didn't get to. Okay. It's kind of like a dead end as far as uh, I can yeah. tell. Like, I can tell you, when I get embarrassed, Ooh. I blush too, but that doesn't mean I'm going to fuck somebody. So I'm just, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um, That's true. <laughs> so, uh, hold on. Uh, let's see. All right. Why does he assume that groups together are all having orgies and not just friends? Is he there? Well, I mean, you could have asked that question at any point in this interview thus far, and it would have been pretty justifiable. <laughs> yeah, I think he's frozen. Yeah, I've heard. I know why somebody asked him that question. Yeah, because uh, I've heard him talk about that, where he'll see a guy. And this guy will have two or three chicks near him. Okay, there he is. So, did you get the question? No. All right. All right. You might, might want to sit because you kind of walking around might interfere with everything. Um, probably, yeah. Uh, why do you assume that groups together are all having orgies and not just friends? Well, I don't presume that about all of them, but if they're all holding hands, I do. I, um, Which is usually... I mean, I've seen both. I haven't seen a bunch of people hold hands unless, you know, they're... Actually, I've never seen a bunch of people hold hands. That's a cold, well, bro. Well, I think it's like a poly thing. thing. It's Washington State. They're very open-minded about sex. Sure. So if you see a guy and he has a chick on both arms, something like yeah, that? That's... Yeah, I see that a lot. Okay, so your, your first guess is, oh, he's banging both these chicks. Well, I mean, if his arms are wrapped around him, yeah, you sh that's usually the indication. Okay, so... Walk into a nice car, usually. So... Like six chicks that are hot and going with this guy, and I know the guy might sell uh, drugs or something. Sure. Thank you. So, ideally, what would happen in that scenario involving you? Well, I, the guy that I saw swoop six chicks the other day sells LSD. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't buy LSD from the guy, but I know that he sells it. Right. And so these chicks are probably having sex with him in exchange for LSD. Probably. Okay. So that's... Well, that's, 
I mean, that's probably what a lot of these guys that get six chicks and do. If my friend does that. I mean, I've hung out with this guy, had pizza with this guy. Right. I used to smoke weed with this guy all the time, but then he started getting real popular. So, but every once in a while, I say, hey, to him. I say, hey, to him. so what should happen? This is the guy and these six chicks, because it sounds like you want to be a part of it. Yeah, it would be interesting, but probably irresponsible. Uh, whatever you're doing is like really loud. Um, so it's no, I'm like just getting rustling, my drink. Yeah, rustling in the bag is like pretty bad. Uh, just, just, just say. Uh, so, but yeah, like it's. I mean, look at all this food that I just got. It's food porn, individual. <laughs> food porn. From Quinkenbaker to do a couple ads for a guy, and then he sent me a bunch of drinks. So you did some ads, huh? Well, I'm going to. Oh. Uh, I did an ad for a comic book store. I'm going to do a, an ad for this guy that stole this chick that he liked on a, on a video game chat. Wait, what? Yeah, he sent me eighty dollars worth of food. And then, like, drink from 7 Eleven, so it's like $100 worth of shit. And he wants me to do this video for him, calling out his uh, video game anime because this guy is a Republican and stole his chick. That's so interesting. He's All right, next question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, does so, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm doing now. All right. All right, so like, do you not understand that women aren't like chat, chattel, property, commodities, like something to be like almost bartered? Dude, most of the chicks I talk to all the time are just platonic. Friends. That's not That's answering not really my question. An answer. Well, they don't seem like chattel. They just seem like human beings. That's That's good. Well, I think that the impression that you give a lot of people from some of your posts is that when you see a guy with multiple chicks, you make comments like he should give you one. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, it'd be like if I mean, if I talk to the guy, I'd just say, hey, JT, how come you got all those chicks? Are you generous? And he'd probably start laughing because he's 19. Well, there's also a video of you where you um, kind of almost tried to blackmail your neighbors and to if you, they didn't give you a girl then he was going to report them for heroin well they got reported too that's still kind of answering that you're you're using a girl and blackmailing someone to report them they got kicked out of the apartment chief that's still not (laughs) that is still not answering like the Up overall next on thing. unrelated topics. Yes, like you, no, no, this, this is what we're talking about. Is what some of your posts in the past of you doing this kind of makes it seem like you do see women as a bargaining tool, as something to blackmail people. Uh, they usually like me more than they like these dudes. So uh, so it's not okay. Because I'm risking my life to try to save them. Right, Scott, can, you, can you please stop moving the bags? <laughs> it's like, just kind of. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's just I like, mean, So I, I think you learned. Uh, you may maybe we need to rephrase the what's yeah. going on here. Okay. Well, yeah. The issue. That's you. What? I mean that's. Yeah, rephrase it. In some, in some of these scenarios, you seem uh-huh. to indicate that a guy should at some point give you a woman or access to a woman. Is that a fact? Well, that's just the way we talk to each other. This book is very gritty. Okay. Can you see how right there. people are watching that can interpret that as that you don't think that they're people? And more like objects. There's just a lot of people. You're not answering the question. That, that, that doesn't actually. Sure that wasn't it's even a question. Like county, everyone. What's the exact question? Can you see from some of your posts from a woman's perspective 
that it comes off as though you treat women like objects. No, because I talk to women all the time. Talking to women does not preclude you from treating them like objects. They're usually in other states. That's being in other states does not preclude you from treating them like objects. I don't think I treat them like objects. Okay, when you tell a guy he should give you a woman that is treating a woman like an object. It's just the banter of our time. That's fine, and I, I accept that. I, I'm not going to pretend like my language, especially on my channel, is uh, not misogynistic at all, but right. it is on its face, right? I'm not going to downplay the level of misogyny that is there, and a lot of it's ironic misogyny at that, but if I were to say, hey, uh, I really need a woman, I'm not having one in years, hey, you need to give me one, and women who don't know know that that's humor, it's going to be really offensive to them. Incredibly offensive. And probably not my chances. Well, I mean, I do it with women. Too. I like I, I, I like ask women, like, hey, do you have any friends? Can you hook me up? And when they say no, I'm like, okay, well, what about you? And then if they say no again, I'd be like, well, that's a bummer. Then I just send them plenty of memes and stuff. And then until they heart react them, and then they start heart reacting them, that's pretty much all I do with my women friends. Some of them I talk to. Like one of them lives in the South, one's in Minneapolis. I was talking to this one uh, woman about uh, sushi the other day, or uh, earlier today. And she, she told me about this meatball, this Korean meatball. She asked me if, if I went to this restaurant called Wild Sage, and I hadn't, even though I'd heard about it. But she showed me like this Gyuza something. I don't know, some Korean thing that I never had before. Was Korean she was like, you should try and get that. Something like that, yeah. She was like, really? you should get that. I'm like, whoa, that's really good. Looking up, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I'll have to try and find something like that here. It was a Korean meatball? Something like that. Yeah, I heard about those recently. Yeah, she said it's like this, it's almost like an appetizer thing. And then there was like this salad that came with it. It was like cabbage. So I was like, yeah, I might have to check that out. Frank, do we have any food related questions? Because it, he seems to really enjoy that topic. I'm still trying to get him uh, to see why he it, like trying to blackmail someone for a woman is not like. You really that, that's still <laughs> that's, that's misogynistic. That's still trying to treat them like commodities. If you're trying to blackmail somebody into them giving you a woman, or you're going to fucking um, report them to the cops for heroin, using them as a blackmailing tool. No, using them as a blackmailing tool is still treating them as. A commodity, not like as a human being. Well, I'd probably cook for them better than top ramen. That doesn't matter. <laughs> what, what does I'm that sure have to do with them. anything, though? They would eat better with me. That doesn't matter. You're 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 you're, you're missing the point here. You here? This went way the fuck over your head. It is still no, no. just still treating them as like they're not a person. Well. Explain to me how when they come up to me, they're like explaining to me how they should get with me and not the boyfriend. And I'm there like, well, you have a boyfriend, so I can't. But I would if you didn't have a boyfriend. Wait, that, women come up to you telling you how they want to get with you? Yes. How often does this but happen? They have boyfriend. Not very often, but every so often. Okay. You do know that those women are joking with you, right? No, they're not joking. So it's been my experience in every vagina that I've known that if they want to get with them, they don't talk about it. Well, these are very communicative women. Have you even gotten with you after talking about it? No, because I turned them down because they have boyfriends. <laughs> Okay. 
All right, so th Frank. this is this is a good question. Uh, please ask him uh, specifically why he thinks his younger friends, who gets food and weed for, should give him a woman in return. They don't owe me anything. I'm just saying they would be nice of them to do that. They like hook me up. They wouldn't mind because they're. I'm always hooking them up with like sandwiches and stuff. But why do you think that they should do this? Um. Because I get along well with the women once we start talking. Isaac, who I talk about a lot, he hooked me up with some chick that I've been talking to over the phone named Trina. And That's... I know, uh, and I know this uh, person named uh, Hayden and uh, Cammy that I occasionally talk to. Hayden, Hayden's uh, was born Shout female, to wants to transition into a male. That's, that's so, still uh, kind of going liberal. around the the, the question. Like ba you're you're basically trying to set up a barter system, which yes. would which would be in essence commodity for commodity. I, well, I see how this is coming full circle. No, because I asked my buddy if he could hook me up with a chick because I'm always hooking him up with food, and then he hooked me up with a chick, and I'm talking to him right now. <laughs> you just said the and same thing. Knows I did. Yeah, but she knows this and is good with it. I wonder how many sandwiches it would cost for me to bang any chick I wanted. <laughs> right? Depends on the sandwich. It depends yeah, on the right sandwich, people. huh? What about this like a, a good pastrami? Ooh, that looks like a pretty good sandwich. Yeah, that, would, that would do it for me if I was a chick. I think I could get maybe a 10-minute blowjob out of that sandwich. That's a pretty good one. So you, yeah, you yeah. bang you for that sandwich? Is that what you're saying? I might have to go with like a year's worth. So a year's just, worth of I, those sandwiches. I'm bang sort of. There, there's a few things uh, yeah, about. I don't know. You never really thought about it. <laughs> I'm not going to pursue that. There's not something a guy in his do daily discourse thinks about. Like how many sandwiches would it cost to bang me? I don't know. Yeah, years like, worth of Arby's? How how much is a year's worth? Are you going to eat one every day? Like we got to map this out. Here. Presumably, you'd eat three a day. Oh shit! You are anything but cheap. Then that's that. That bill's going to rack true. up. I mean, I know a guy who uh, used his mother's inheritance to do kind of the same thing. So I feel <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, here's another good one. If you want a woman, why can't you carve your own path and find them yourself? Why do you have to have other people find them for you? Where do I find them? Everywhere. And where you're Where's at right everywhere, now. Man. Where's where, everywhere? Where are you at right now? At a bus plaza. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of women there, as long as you don't start um, talking about telomeres and stuff like that. I'm just saying. Yeah, they're like half the population. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes they're around. Usually very empty. Clinker diggers. You can go there. There's a bunch of women there. You can't I sit mean, down I in the restroom. Walmart. Lowe's. Walmart. Whatever store you go to to, to get clothes and food and stuff like that. Well, I'm going to college, so presumably I'll just do it at college. Okay, there you go. There's women in college. Why yep. can't you go up to one of the women in college and not find do them? the things you do? Yeah. Well, that starts in January. Okay, Frank. Frank. Frank, what, what? Frank, what is it like talking to Bizarro Frank? Is that why you're so frustrated? Yes. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> again. Say it's January. You start in college. There's women there. Why yeah. can't you go and talk to a woman there? I probably will start doing that. Okay. Good plan. So, so why do you have to have other people do it for you right now? Like right now. when right now and god damn it. Um Because that's January. This is December. Okay. <laughs> De <laughs> it is yeah, December twenty eighth. <laughs> yes, yeah, okay, he does have a point. But you can go to anywhere. Like you can go just just 
to a bar. There's a big sign that says anywhere. You, you a bar. You're 40 years old. You can go to a bar and possibly. I swear to you, there's a gimmick out there. You can't just go to a bar. Bartenders are out of work right now, dude. <laughs> it's a pandemic. Okay, We're so house what, what, what was the what was the problem before the pandemic then? Because this is it's, judging by your YouTube history, seemed like it's I didn't been know an ongoing issue. I didn't know anybody. Well, I mean, I met them all during that. You can well, that, go into that was a advice to do that. Yes. Well, I was I was kind of looking at that, but. What they were kind mean? of skanks. Like I'd, I'd go around Why different bars and like, they, like yeah, I'd either like stand outside or I'd go in and get a drink, and then I'd see different, <laughs> you know, scenarios with the same chicks played out at different bars. And I thought there's some skanks, and I'm not gonna go with that. I might get some AIDS or chlamydia or oh, something. But Jesus like, Christ. like I'd watch it, and I'd like. It was very interesting, but I didn't really want to do it because, like, every night they were getting picked up by some guy. So, so I, I just okay. went to the bars to watch this, this this scenario of disease and adventure hopping, and didn't really like it for my own personal needs, but like observing it was funny. All right. So you're watching the same group of chicks uh, going to the bars and picking up different penises. Oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. So like different. Like okay. different groups where I'd see like this a group of three and they'd be there and then the other night they'd be with another guy over there or like groups from other groups it was like mingle with other groups and I go to the other bars and see them there get picked up by the old guy so it was like I'm not that, but that's entertaining like I'm, I'm I'm confused so do you not want to be put in the rotation or are you looking for someone who is a virgin that goes to bars frequently? Well, I mean, I'm not trying to get syphilis here. <laughs> you get syphilis from any woman who doesn't go to a bar. Come, yeah. come. You're being picky. I don't know about that. I wouldn't want to go near those guys either. I was staying at least six feet away from that shit. Right. Oh, oh that's fine. But can you not get a woman uh, syphilis from a woman that doesn't go to a bar? That just goes to college? I, I think I'll just check out the college. Okay, fine. But do college women have syphilis? I sure hope not. Right. So... How do you actually know that any of these women have any STDs? Well, you, you go up to her and you say, honey, do you have syphilis? Yeah, because people disclose their STDs when you ask them. That definitely happens. I wonder why his track record so bad. So, like, <laughs> darling, uh, you're, you're hot. You want to get some clinker dagger? Uh, do you have any diseases? They'd be like, no. Clinker right, so, dagger. So, I, I guess that's a bar. So, freak, uh, here's a fun fact about certain STDs with women. They actually, hmm. most women are asymptomatic for a lot of STDs. They'll, they'll contract mm -hmm. it, not show symptoms, and pass it along to you, the penis wielder, and then you'll figure out that she mm -hmm. has something from you actually being symptomatic. So what you're saying is never sleep with women. Ever. Just only sleep with guys. Best bet. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that decision. I think I'm no. just fine with sleep with women. I, I got no judgment. The, the, the point that I was making is you can get an STD from any woman, not just women at bars, but you seem to be like prejudicial against women in bars. Meanwhile, you don't feel well, sure. any sort of, you know, uh, bias against women in college, which I would argue women in college would probably have a higher prevalence of STDs. Well, the they got to be 21 to get in there. I would argue that yeah, women that go to college are smarter. I would argue that women that go to Fucking college are elderly. smarter than women that go to bars. I I can tell you that that's false. From oh, that's one hundred percent false. I can tell you that's false. It doesn't seem, it seems kind of like general as you mentioned. I mean, uh, that's a little. I mean, hard. intellectually speaking, if somebody drinks a lot, they're probably sluttier, guys included. So if they they're they're like in school, they're probably studying less. And women at the colleges are between eighteen and nineteen, so they're not going to bars anyway. Women that go to bars are around 21. Wow, so, so all that was wrong. It, it might be better to stay with the smart path and not go with the chicks that are drinking. All right, I'm, I'm tagged, Billy. You're uh, wait, 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 wait. So, so let me get this straight. You're looking for a sober lady who doesn't have syphilis who will sleep with a hobo. I would imagine that a chick that goes to college doesn't drink because she's 18 years old. Or That's very not true. Often because Hey, if she's on the honor roll, though. 
That's still not true. Yeah, like legit. I. What are you talking about? If you're drinking all the time, what am I you're talking about? Envelope. I have an engineering degree. You haven't entered a fucking college yet. I'm in a fucking college. I was in a college last year. Okay, if, if you're in college, on the honor. No, I was at a community college. Listen, no, it is also doesn't count really college, hard right now. If a chick is in college and she's on the honor roll, she's probably not drinking because if That's you're not drinking, true either. No, I it, don't like it, this it, angle, Luke. Drinking it's impairs not. your intelligence, sir. No, it doesn't. Drinking, yes, it does. Drinking no, impairs it your No, it hinders your motor skills, not your intelligence. Which might affect your ability to use no. a computer or a phone. No. <laughs> no. no yes. Let's, let's not the angry. use no, of I the do pen. Get Lola in today, so. no, listen, the use of a pen or a computer is motor skill. So if they have bad motor skills, they're probably not drinking much. That doesn't mean that they're not on the honor roll, dude. Like, it's not If hard. you're on the honor roll, you're using a lot of pen strokes and keystrokes, so you're probably dude, not have drinking. have you heard of off time? Like, like, college isn't always doing shit. It's yeah. not. College is always doing shit. I was up no, it's not. Several times. If you're on the honor roll, you're always doing shit if you suck. You just you're said honorable. you're going to have to wait till January to do any of these plans, so. But I was already on the honor Hey, hey, Drag, you're in your master's program. How often do you have homework? I don't have homework very often. That's not really a thing when you get to graduate level. When okay. you start college, you have homework every night. That's not really. That. No, if you're, if, really. if you're, yeah. And if you're good at it, it only I'd takes you a few minutes. Night. What? It took me like three hours every night. Yeah, but that's because... You're like a, a hobo. I'd get home at three thirty, and I and I'd cook my daily meal, and then at five o'clock I would start my homework, and often get done about eight, and that happened a lot. There were some nights where it was like seven or six. And some nights I had to do that, then I had to do another project, and I was up till like three, or I'd go to oh. bed, and then I wake up at six and do a project and not go to school that day, and then go to school the next day and be done with the project a little bit beforehand. So I was getting like close to a hundred. I wasn't. Well, I didn't have time well, to drink. Well, uh, I'm glad we had that story. Um, I'm not actually, but uh, so Lola's here. She has some questions for you. But first, before she asks any of your questions, um, how many pizza slices Lola. is Lola worth? As much as she wants. I, if I had to choose, I think as Lola's, much as I can handle. Lola's worth about two pots of gumbo without the tomato base brewery and no. Okay, let me let me ask one you these. question. Precise. Hold on, uh, let me ask one you these question last... for a hundred thousand dollars. No, I'm just playing. Here, let me ask you these last questions that just kind of came in. Um, Lucas, would you uh, move to Manchester, Kentucky, to get laid every day? Yeah, if I had a one-way ticket, I don't think so. But if I had a ticket back, like I could visit first for the weekend and then come back, sure. <laughs> I'm adventurous. Also, <laughs> but I got to have to take it to come what back. What adventure? <laughs> um, yeah, I said. I'll make my decision when I come back. Ask, ask you, Lucas. Do you know who Warren Jeff is? No. Then yeah, yeah. Uh, the press last one. Yeah. Um. No offense in you. Uh, let Lucas know I got a hot lead on some. Oh, I'm not. Never mind. Oh, God damn it! Crit what? Oh uh, yeah, nope. <laughs> now read it, or we don't get paid. No, dude. You read it then. No, tell me. This. Read it. Where is it? I. It, it's not coming up on my screen because I just now opened up our chat. Hold on. I put it in the um, private chat. Also, um. Uh, Gen Z, uh, why, why would you make a good father, Lucas? How would you support a family? Ooh, a good well, oh, I, would, good. I would get a job. I would get a job while I'm going to school. I want to get to school. I'm getting money. I'm also getting a disability right now. So I would try to double my income by getting a job. Any job. Like even McDonald's would double my income plus $250 more. What's double zero? It's zero. Um, <laughs> So let Lucas know I had I have a I, I've got a hot lead on some Vietnamese ladyboy diplomats if he is interested. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what the super chat says. I had there were a few oh, yeah. sandwiches at least. <laughs> also, um, do you like turtles? Sorry, I just it was a question. Uh like the I like turtles, kid. No, I like turtles. Like your like opinion on turtles. turtles, like, do you just step on them like I do, or do you hug them like Frank? God damn it. Billy. Only if they're Galapagos turtles and I can ride them. Those are my favorite ones to step on because they're endangered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like someone turtles. says he, uh, he, uh, there was a $9. He can't go to the bar because he's banned from most bars in the game because he posted on Facebook the that... He was filming girls at the bar. Oh, God, and jerked off to the videos and was reported to the bar. <laughs> bar girl. Um, Dude, what the fuck? Which isn't true because cause I've been to a couple bars since then. It was just one other bar. Wait, so you. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. That happened? So the part yeah. that's not true is oh. that you had it. <laughs> no, I've oh, gone to other bars. Where, like, I've gone to other bars since then. Oh. So that's the untrue part that you haven't been to a bar since. Well, How no, the fuck yeah. are you not on a no-fly list? <laughs> <laughs> Look who the fuck's trusting. talking. Billy over here turning into Super Mario, jumping off the fucking turtles. <laughs> I know, right? I should be on a no-fly list, but he should be on it right next to me. All right, we're going to so, get to Lola in a second. I'm trying to get to these. Uh, if you don't have a pot to piss in, how do you expect to get a woman? That's good. <laughs> I love piss pot. Probably did uh, huh? Step one, obtain piss pot. <laughs> That's not a good step. <laughs> step one, obtain job. <laughs> Frank. That's how you get obtain the piss pot. Obtain job, obtain apartment. By the way, Brand, it was me changing the banners. What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, um, the really? point is that if you've not shown the initiative now, then mm -hmm. what's going to happen to women that it'll happen less time for women? Um, because I have to go to the place at like 8.30 in the morning in order to sign up to get on that list and one of the apartments that's available right now I heard it's $600 and I talked to the lady I just haven't talked to her in a while because I have to go in if I'm really serious about it but apparently there's a bunch of these apartments wait so you have to wake up at 8.30 and show an initiative like an adult what uh, that is absolutely that's unreasonable strange. that's unreasonable so, Jerome, that's classism right there. Like, right. seriously. Yeah, well, they accept, like. Well, there's something that I was thinking about doing. Wait, wait, wait will they just people. accept random food from strangers for rent? The top three people are the geek room. I am not the geek room. <laughs> <over time. laughs> okay. I, I have yes. to make a reminder, evidently. I'm just a fucking guest. All right, so. Uh, got one more. I'm gonna read this one. This one. We're, then we're gonna get to Lola. Um, this is from Click Attack. Stop eating. Stop eating. Uh, JFC. Also, I have the video of you saying you falsely reported your neighbors for dealing herring if they didn't give you a chick. I don't know if that guy's talking about. I bet you've seen it. That's the guy. That's the guy that, 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 that video where you said you were okay. I bet you've seen the video. That's the guy that. Dude. That's the guy that sent me to Los Angeles and then stranded me there. I don't care. I'm <laughs> trying to talk to you about what this is. I've actually seen a video you come out your own it. mouth. Right? All right. You know yeah, what? I guess so. But It was just a trail yeah, of food to LA. Anyway, all right. All right. What we're going to do, we're going to hand this over to Lola. Right? What? Right, we're going to come back to that one. I'm not, I'm not letting you go on that one, but we're going to get to Lola. So. Okay. Hello, Lola. Hi. Hi. I'm Hi, back. Lola. Hello. So I did get a clarification because I wasn't sure who you were uh, angry at particularly. That, that you expressed some some very some passion on a one of your many videos, and I was wondering if that happened to be me, and I, I figured out that it wasn't. So I didn't remember saying that I looked 18. I definitely don't, but I do get carded for alcohol. No, sometimes. you didn't. No, it's that other egotistical. Yeah, so this egotistical one was okay. Got it. All right. Right. She, I don't like her. All right. Aww. So. She, she was weird. She's like, she's like, I'm 31, but I could pass as an 18 year old. I'm looking at her like, oh, sweetheart, no. All right. 
How Let's delusional. Go. Yeah. They're terrible. So here's what <laughs> here's what I am interested in because it seems like, and this is what I do with a lot of people because I have a w weird way of communicating. Okay. Um, sometimes we use words and people aren't on the same page with what they mean. So it ends up kind of being an issue and conflicting things. And I want to understand what you're talking about because as I under as I listen to you, it doesn't align with what I see. So first question, when you say socialism, what do you mean? Well, socialist policies would be things where the government's in charge. Like uh, is, is it? the way it works now is like you give money to corporations and then they figure out problems. But a socialist system would be the government would figure out the problems with that money and start a government program to solve those problems. Like NASA, uh, the public works program, stuff like that, uh, postal service. Okay. Those are all socialist ideas. Okay. Fire, so department, fire department, police, roads, government operated. Okay. So you're saying that that's more something that you, and you seem in favor of that. You're wanting that more, you know, a lot of government oversight, them kind of setting what it should be, that sort of thing. And then in a more, are you meaning it more economically or yeah. more as a system? Like more as a system that hired more people, like okay. government jobs solving problems and they would create jobs. Okay. So basically everyone would be able to have a certain expected wage for a particular thing. Well, yeah. I mean, everybody would, if you, you were qualified to do that job, you would have some sort of wage. Okay. If, if the government so, had more programs and more programs that, that worked, then uh, there would be more jobs. Like putting people on Mars would be what NASA's working on. Okay. So capitalism, bad. You don't like it. When you say that, is that what you're meaning? Tell me about that. Yeah, I don't really like capitalism. I think that the government should just do all the stuff and like give you as a person the ability to change those things, uh, like by consulting experts and things. And like like if we had a system that was a direct democracy, we could be like, should we go to Mars? Okay, let's go to Mars. How much is that going to cost? Uh, $5 trillion for this big-ass project. Okay, so we're going to do this big-ass project. The people decide that? Yeah, do we have the people, do we have the resources and the scientists to do that? Well, yeah, let's do that. Okay, then the people decide that the money goes to the scientists, and they figure it out. Scientists come back, and they're like, we're going to put a small city on Mars, but we need a trillion more, and the people will decide that. So we okay. would put a city on Mars. Okay, you're kind of literally going off into space on that topic, but all right. So absolutely, That's what we yeah. Do. Well, let's bring it back to Earth, please. Um, so I bring this up because I'm somebody that is freelance. There are a few people that think that means that I don't actually have a job or a boss or whatever, but it's because I get to decide what I do and things about that. Box. Right. Yeah, I, I get I, to decide. I, I well. Yeah. You put up a video where you're very proudly, because you seemed very proud of your, your work, um, being able to be paid a certain amount for appearing on a podcast and being able to determine what that amount was. Right. Right. You I know mean, what that is, right? It's business. Uh-huh. It doesn't make me a capitalist. A capitalist is a millionaire or a billionaire. No. I'm just a wage slave. I Just am a capitalist, I'm, and I'm not a millionaire. Well, I'm a socialist, and I'd like to have a better station in life, so I have to get in line with the capitalist system, even though myself, I'm not a capitalist. It's well, called having a job. Right, which you don't. <laughs> so you set your own wage and ask for a certain amount, and that's a free right. market, I suppose which so. is namely but, associated with capitalism. But I can, you're saying that you're a part of a system that gets to decide what that amount should be. So, listen, hmm? Michael Moore makes films about things he makes the films about, and he, hmm? he has to sit into the capital system, but he's a socialist. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's kind of like that. Like, I'll, I'll talk about socialism. Okay. That still doesn't really correlate. It, 
Let's move on to the next well, question. How about that? Have you, you ever been out of the United like, States? Yes. Where? Mexico, Canada. Okay, that kind of counts, I guess. Um, I'm just wondering if you've ever been to a place yeah. that practices well, socialism. Uh, no. No? I mean, Canada has democratic socialism. Mm. Or, like, understand what socialism and communism kind of looked like when they were implementing those particular kind of systems. Uh, well, I think we need a better education system because people seemingly cannot determine the difference between socialism and communism. I mean, you're definitely a good example of us needing a better education system. I absolutely agree with that one. Um, but I also yeah. think that it needs to. <laughs> there's a here's something to consider. You put yourself out there as being able to do voice acting work, right? Right. You want to be hired for that. So I'm going to go ahead right. and tell you that. I found those videos hilarious, but not for the right reason. Maybe not. Maybe it, you did. Because I got all this today. Unintentional. Listen, that, this, that's very good. Um, I, yeah, I, I got a burger and uh, wings for doing, I, I have to do two ads for this guy. And I'm also getting, you know, two Slurpees and two sodas for some reason. So I'm going to do two ads for these guys. And it just kind of shows me that if I could do that. I guess so. And then maybe if he wants another one, I'll do it for cash out. Okay. Do you think that that's actually going to support you or you have a, any sort of longevity in that? That's like the second job I've had in two days outside of the podcast. That still doesn't answer my question entirely, but... We'll see. I mean, I have two people that have hired me this week. And mm -hmm. I've basically earned $110 for the first podcast I did with the Geek Room. And then I, but I'm working on kind of a barber system right now. And people have said that they would be willing to pay me through cash app. You know that that's capitalism, right? Oh, I realize that, but it doesn't make me a capitalist. But yes, you reap the that. benefits. There, right. But, but there are people that work at McDonald's that are socialists. There are people okay. that work. They things. might. Prefer it, but they're partaking in it. They could they just to. move to, to Venezuela. Capitalism <laughs> forces you to work within the capitalist system. It's the United States, sweetheart. You have to be a. You have to work in the capitalist I, system. I get it, muffin. Um, yeah, but the thing is, I also am somebody that enriches myself, gives myself the skill set in order to make me valuable so that I can get paid in ways other than sandwiches. Like my vagina might be worth a lot right. of muffaladas, but I can get paid in things seven. aside from sandwiches. So well, there's yeah, not I'm really sure any longevity could. there. But you have to show determination. Otherwise, you're not going to continue being hired. I got you, soul sister. Yeah, how many sandwiches right. do you pay for that couch? I have, actually this I just found that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So what? not a single sandwich. <laughs> not a single sandwich. Well, I mean, do you know what that, classified then. ads are? Why would I need to do a classified ad if I've done two things that have showed that I could probably get a hundred dollars if I ask for money instead of food? Because that's probably the more effective way of being able to look for places that are already hiring. Uh, I've tried that. I'm, I just downloaded Cameo. And people said that I could do work on Cameo because I've gotten a couple gigs just doing it through Instagram. You should try OnlyFans. It's up and coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really like that. That's like, they, they were saying that months ago, and we're beyond that now. So here's. Here's what's getting to me. And trust me, I find the videos that you put together incredibly funny, but it's not, you're not intending to be. It's because what yes, you're what are you talking portraying. About? I'm, I'm a stand up comedian. I'm a stand up comedian not acting. on YouTube and YouTube. Let her finish real quick. You're not That's acting. Not you're presenting. Your, okay, you're presenting. A comedian yourself. does things to get laughs. I'm doing things to get laughs. Yeah, I'm well, laughing. I'm a comedian. Not, it doesn't matter. 
Lucas, let her finish real quick. Yeah, please. let me. That's part of. Okay, so you realize whenever you talk over people, whenever you don't hear people and hear what they have to say, you admit that you basically have nothing to learn from them and that there's nothing that you have to gain. You're cutting yourself. So, so which is what you're going to do next? Luke, I don't interrupt. What you're going to do next? Lucas. Well, uh, her, I'm a comedian. I'm getting laughed. That's the point. Is, you're you're belittling that because you're a hater. No, if you let her finish. And it doesn't matter. Really? I'm a comedian getting laughed, and because of that, they're paying me in food. And I'm thinking, well, if I do ads for money, I would get money, but I'm doing it for food right now just to see if I can get food out of them. And it seems to work. And they're always like, get cameo. So I got cameo today, and I might start doing it for money or food. Okay, like, so let them decide. Right. You know okay, what I mean? You finish. Now let Lola finish. There okay. We go. Okay. So, I just kind of proved my point. Well, that might, basically, well, whenever you... I get you... another thing to do tomorrow, yeah, uh, about, I, I might get food because I don't have any food. Jesus or or Christ, I might get... Like, G this, Lucas. And like, I, I, I would do a cash app after that. This wasn't worth a pizza. And just keep it in no, my cash app. Not even a Little Caesars one. Lucas. <laughs> Legit. You're you remember when you were but, talking to me? Lucas! I'm just doing anything I can to make a little money. Lucas. So, I mean, I, I participate in a capitalist system that I... For love of <laughs> fucking Christ. If I just get, get more pizza, pizza back... Jesus. If I just yeah. do one more cameo, I can afford a whole right. little thing of pizza. Lucas, before I add I you back in, right. before, Lucas, just listen to me for one second. You talked about, talk about showing people showing you respect. Lola was talking. Show her respect. You, in order to get respect, you got to uh, show respect, all right? You keep talking over people. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, so, well. This is why you're so stunted. Here's something that you can learn. And if you listen to me and if you listen to other people, there's this is why you don't learn. It's because you shut off everything around you. I have listened to a lot of very interesting people and some that are outright stupid. But the thing is, even those stupid people are showing me examples of things that I can learn from even if they don't. That's what happens whenever we have open minds, we're receptive, and we're motivated. Because here's the thing. I do a little bit of work, voice work myself. You know, I've been working on it for a few years and everything. And I can get paid in something besides sandwiches. Because I have a setup for it. Because I have equipment for it. And because I have the dedication to improve myself by listening to those who are successful. You don't, which is why you'll continue to be paid with sandwiches, which kind of makes you sound like relating that to the whole, like, you know, how much is she worth for a sandwich? You basically sound like a hooker. It's pretty cheap. Now, what'd you learn? Don't repeat a line. Don't repeat a line. Don't repeat a line. We're interested in, 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 in millennials. I'm interested in something else specialer. Like 18 year old blood takes a flash of game signal at colleges that don't drink because they're 18. That's kind of what I'm interested in. Like hot young yeah. chicks that don't drink and are responsible and getting on the honor roll Did you and are intelligent. Even Hey, hey, listen. Listen. You know, you listen to a single word now. The, 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 the education hey, and new life and are curious and adventurous. Hey, buddy, what the they're fuck 18 are you talking they're about? Smart. It was the worst of times. It was the best <laughs> of times. Like, Those grapes were really anything? wrathful. Did you hear anything that you said? <laughs> Lucas, nope. answer the question. Did you hear anything? Did you no have the earbuds in, in your ear at this point? I saw some of that nervous laughter we were talking I do. about earlier. Then what, like, did Something. you hear her explain any of that at all? I just do my thing. No, he, no. she talked no, to her. No, she talked God. to him like Fuck. like her, like her, his mom used to talk to him, so he shut down. Hello, I mean, every, everybody has to have a job. Maybe you, it's well, if you want a society that has systems set up in order to help other people, you need to be able to contribute to that if that's what you so want. And so far, 
you're not doing that. And as far as I know from asking you and that having been on the last show, is that for 20 years you haven't uh, contributed to that either. Well, that's then. This yeah, that's now. how a socialist society would have to work, Lucas. You would actually need to contribute to it for it to actually work, darling. Now, hello, I'm the one who bought you um the pizza. The socialist system. A socialist would, have would not have free labor. It just wouldn't have free labor. That's not how it works. All right, you'd actually be living Why? in a very high tax society. All right, I know this. I live in the UK. We have quite a few you, you? We have things like the NHS, for example. Um, but hi, Lucas. I know a lot um, of people work for the government. It, it, it's yeah, pizza make money. Hey, Lucas. Lucas, Lucas, Lucas darling. Lucas, Lucas, darling. I'm, 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 I'm the man who got you here in the first place. I don't yes. appreciate the rudeness, sir. I, I just, yeah, I'll just put up the screen. The pizza. So, yeah, I'm the one. And who I'm the one the that helped with the food from the other, other night. Yeah, and Lolo. Yeah. <laughs> My dirty capitalist dollars. I don't appreciate you coming onto the stream, that, which I obviously, you know, I'm the the purchaser of you, you, you to come on, you know, and being rude and saying that you're com a comedian and that you're dismissing various points because you are a comedian. When you're not, Lucas, that's not the crack here. You're just outright dismissing various arguments and points with just what a battery or People it's just a joke, bro. It's not a joke, bro. Sorry, Lucas, you got to speak uh, up. People so write me in the email. Email. So, I'm if, sure it's unrelated. A quick comparison, just real quick, Lucas. You're, you keep commenting that people think that you're funny and that you're comedian. If you had to guess how much I earn a month from being funny, what, what would you guess it is? What's that? You keep talking about how much you're a comedian, how much you make. How much do you think that I make every month by being a comedian on YouTube? No idea. Okay, far more than you. I can tell you, far more. Enough to pay. Well, nice pussy. Like that's you that's, deserve that because you've been working hard. Here's, here's the thing. If, if we're going to talk about it, we need to show something for them. It's not a way to dismiss people's constructive criticism. And I think mm -hmm. that that's a little weird flex. I mean, this guy he wants me to do these two insult videos for him. Because Wait, his chick it, stole his irrelevant. girlfriend that's... on a video game, so he bought me a bunch of clinker diggers. So that's a job, right? So, so that and is he did it because sequence. he said that I'm funny. Great, cool. That my mother says I'm funny too. So that's a non sequitur, right? I think the issue here right, is that right. it's to deflect off of actual criticism. Um, what? All right, well, I'll just go ahead and make a point then. You know, so. As I said before, I taught myself how to do stuff with an IT. I, you know, dropped out of college because it was kind of pointless for me. I didn't like it, blah, blah, blah. Um, and part of what has gotten where I've seen the result of success has been because I've been willing to listen to people who are more successful than me. And I learn about what uh -huh. they do and I learn about what gets me there. So if you're unwilling to listen, you're not going to go anywhere. Point? My point is <laughs> you're where you are right now because you do things like continually interrupt people that could teach you something. I'm, I'm, where, I am. I'm, I'm where I am right now because people think I'm funny. There's a difference between I'm, people I wouldn't be funny proud like, of that. No, like... Yeah. Ha ha funny, or they're yeah, laughing I mean, at you kind of funny. Like people, most people are know, laughing got, like, at you. Oh, actually, actually, that's a good point. Hold on well, they shouldn't because I just got a whole bunch. I just got eighty dollars worth of food to do these two videos for a guy. Yes, Drag, definitely. tell so them about the forty dollars a video. You can connect there. <laughs> I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm trying not to. I have a lobster bag. Yeah, I've I've gotten paid in lobster because I've probably gotten paid in lobster bis more in one month than you have in a year. But that's the that's not the point. Probably. Lucas, how how it's not a competition. Yeah, it's not, but you can flexing and I have the issue with Lucas, how can you tell first of all whether people are laughing at you or with you? It doesn't matter to me, Chief. They pay me to do ads for them. That's that's not okay, I get it. That's not the question that I asked. If you were any other person, no, Lucas, if you were any other person, right, how does one laugh, laughing at them versus with them? 
well, if they're hiring me to call out their friends for being bastards to them or their enemies for being dickheads or whatever, then these are the audience. Okay. So how do you know whether those people are going to be laughing at you versus at you? I presume that they're laughing with me because they just bought me a bunch of food, like $80 worth of food, and he's doing this because I'm a good insult comic, and he hired me. So what you're saying is that you presume that if they buy something and commission you, then they won't laugh at you? Not if they pay me a bunch of clinker later. Okay, so if because there's like, it's like eighty dollars worth of food for a cheeseburger and some wings. I can pay for hundred and fifty dollars for my for entire family. family. Lucas, I can pay for hundred and fifty dollars for my family to go to a circus and laugh at the clowns there. Right, the clowns make money. Stop me from laughing at it. Clowning is a job. I kind of clown on people as a job. What you do, what you just so, said, is a job, is it not? What I, what I did, what is a job? But what I did is it eighty dollars to do this job. Basically, this okay. is going to take me a total of maybe three minutes cool. to do. Yeah, so, how does that preclude so for three minutes' work, I earned eighty dollars to clown That's on. Fine. That's awesome. So, how does that preclude people from laughing at you? Um, Take your time. Well, what does it matter? I mean, I don't pay attention. That's not the question that, that, that is not the question that I asked you. That is not the question. It doesn't matter to me. That I'm is agnostic in that area. You are not. Matter to me. That again. That some is people not laughing at me. Some people are laughing with me, but the people that are paying me are laughing with me. The fact that you know they're not, you don't know that. And the reason I asked you that because you don't actually have a way to determine whether or not, and you presume that they're not laughing at you. If they're paying That's money the for me to do clowning on videos of somebody, they're probably laughing with me. No, they're not. I just gave uh, you an example that yeah, I paid the circus to laugh at people. You go to a circus. You go to a circus to laugh at what they're saying or doing, just like a comedian matter. does. Which is it amazing. doesn't matter. Uh, well, in the at South, people. it's definitely they're laughing, laughing at, at people. Trust me. Well, if I'm going to a comedy show, people are laughing with the jokes that I'm saying and the stories and things and the bits. So Wait, that's kind of what joke. the people are doing. But Oh, that's a, funny, don't really do jokes. That's, a, that's a funny thing. You comedians. mentioned that. So hold on for a second. If you're saying, if, this is interesting. Sure. This is interesting. If you say that you're going to a comedy show to laugh with someone at the jokes, what if they offer some self-deprecating humor where they're the butt of their own joke? Who are you laughing at then? I suppose you're laughing at them and with them. Thank you. You're laughing. No, you're laughing at them. If it's self-deprecating, by them. definition, de Lucas, by definition, self-deprecating is taking a jab at yourself. You'd be laughing at I'm them. not self-deprecating humor. It doesn't matter. I know that. It doesn't matter. You, doesn't matter. That. you gave the example of someone going to a comedy show and laughing with the comedian, and I gave you a specific example of how that doesn't always happen specifically for self-deprecating humor. Every single time you draw up these scenarios, I give you the exception and you dodge it again because you don't actually have a metric for determining whether or not someone's laughing at you or with you. Okay, I see the wheels turning. Every single example, circus, comedian, bring up another one and I'll give you another example. It's skidding. <laughs> Go ahead, give me another one. I will knock it out the park. I got all night. Look at this face. Great smug look you have there, Lucas. Yeah, unrightfully so. When you're 40 think, years old and you're hanging out with 30 year olds, a lot of stuff is just unimpressive. Because it's stuff that, you know, okay, it's like you're, you're, you're a hobo. Telling you, you're just not that entertaining. Lucas, Lucas, I mean, you kind of are now, but. Imagine, my man. Lucas, okay. Like, well, you, I'm you, not laughing. That, that's fine. I've been through way more stuff in life than you have, man. Are Don't you laughing because you're frustrated? I didn't think it was a competition. <laughs> I mean, you probably have faced more racism than I have. No, I've faced natural disasters. I've faced racism, and I've faced far more intellectually and physically than you ever will. Three of the people in here are former service members. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, maybe that's the problem. See, we're not all really from the military here. I'm from military cuts. <laughs> so <laughs> you've also got a person that doesn't make on this fucking the person serving in those positions, dumbass. 
You, we've also really got a person in here goals. that is the survivor of a system that operated on communist and socialist values, where I had oh, sure, no then, civil rights. Yeah, basically where uh, the Republicans were blocking. No, it had nothing to do with politics. Yeah, they, yeah No, it, it didn't. Did. It you don't do, know what I'm talking I'm about. The, talking about the conservatives uh, blocking women. No, you don't. Women. Dude, you, you should no, you don't. You that is not it, and you're being disrespectful and trying to say it's this, and it's not. It's not the communists blockading your rights as a woman, it's Republicans. It has nothing to do with me being a woman. Mm. That's something that you do, do <laughs> There were tactics right? used on me for three years, and I had no civil rights that were taken from Chinese communists during the Korean War. I don't believe you. There it is. Nailed it. <laughs> oh my god. Raise okay. your hand if you're surprised. It's the actual. No Where were they attacking you? Okay. Where were they attacking you? It seems kind of paranoid to me. Where were they attacking? She doesn't have to explain. I don't. I don't have to necessarily to tell you that. What? At all. She does not have to explain shit to you. Talking about. You've been fed a bunch of lies. Dude, you're no, the guy this, who's this... wondering where women are at <laughs> on the planet Earth. And how many sandwiches you have to acquire this to obtain one. This is where capitalist women are. It seems like they just have a bunch of Stockholm Syndrome, Michael. Sorry for her. Most women I know tend to be left of You the feel capitalist. sorry for me? You feel sorry for me. I'm that's, the one who's doing cool. voice acting and not getting paid with fucking sandwiches for it. I'm the one that's sitting here with a mic <laughs> that I'm about to drop on you. I'm the one that's sitting here that is way more fucking funny than you are. And that people aren't laughing at me. It's because I've fucking done something with myself over the past 20 years. You're still trying to figure out what their fucking party is. Because I'm wondering, if you go to school, are you just going to talk the whole time whenever the teacher's talking? Because I guarantee you that's a waste of fucking money. He's not going to no, go to school. I do I don't go think to school. I've ever been this erect in my life. <laughs> hey, hey, look at that. Also, I used You're to monetize this anger and get paid $9 a minute for that shit. For talking about how capitalists have screwed you as a woman? We're talking about communist. whatever some rich fuckhead who is usually a cap, some some kind of, uh, I don't know, guy you, you're yeah. espousing with empty platitudes you don't understand. They come to me because ago. they can't handle that shit, and I got paid $9 a minute to insult the fuck out of them and also yeah. tell them to stick things up their ass. Well, a minute Hashtag ago, you were talking about how the communists, nice. you were talking about how the communists ruin your life. And now you're talking about how the capitalists ruin Yeah, I can experience two different things in my life. Uh-huh. No. It's like being angry and happy at the same time. Lucas, you do have this bizarre thing of, like, placing most of life's problems down to Trump pansies, Republicans, you know, capitalism, communism, when a lot of those things have the square root of fuck all to do with those things. I usually blame capitalism for everything. Actually, I know who to blame. That's what he said. Your parents. A hundred percent. I guarantee it's your goddamn mom. I like how you like heroin. like are you still connected to your tit? Like what's going on here? No, yeah, they, why, I mean, why did you need I mean, the pizza pizza if you're still on the tit. What the fuck, bro? Hey Lucas, you want yeah, to yeah, yeah. this real quick it, where you were trying to blackmail people into, into getting a woman? Up. Hey, did you hear me? Did you hear me? They uh, hooked me up with a motel room for my birthday and for Christmas. For your birthday, oh. your grown yeah. ass parents, who are probably like eighty now, had to hook up no. their forty year old adult son with the hotel room, not to stay with them or in the same city as them, but so he gets out of the goddamn cold for his birthday and Christmas. Yeah. You don't see a problem with that at all. I said those words in secession, and you're like, yep, that's life. Well, that's why I'm doing ads now to. No, 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 no. You don't get to use that now. You just started that. How many sandwiches does it take to buy a house? Well, you could build a house out of Well, that's what I'm saying. If you were actually listening to what I said, I said that. Since I'm doing so well for getting Grubhub, you're not to do doing these, well when you get paid in fucking sandwiches, dude. That is not doing well. That's just getting by. And two to three what days does not count. 
two to three days teaches me that I could do it through Cash App. Hey, I too. got a, I got a like, question. Before this podcast, you didn't answer my question on Instagram. Before this podcast, and you were doing the uh, the podcast on uh, what uh, the golden golden mic. Yeah. Um, when is the last time you got paid to do any fucking thing? A long time ago. I mean, I got paid in sandwiches, zoo, big Tell deal. Tell me but, when. Tell me the instances and what they paid you for. I would have bought them. Tell me what the they paid you anyway. for. Tell me what they paid you for. What? Say what? I asked you, tell me what they paid you for. Essentially. Nothing. Because you haven't done anything since then. You have not been on a, uh, a podcast. I would have known about it. People would have uh, told me. You hadn't done nothing. You've been starving and I living know. under a bridge since then. You've been getting thrown out of homeless shelter for this little stunt. For trying to blackmail. For trying to blackmail people into getting you a girl. It's called a, it's called a barter system. So you're trying to barter for women is. now, aren't you? No. Because that's this, what I was just yes. start talking about. These are two separate things that you're you melding do together. anything. Yeah, I, I do a barter system with my wings too. I do this thing. I go like this, and then I hand them twenty dollars, and then they hand me wings. So here's the thing: he hooked me up with some wings and a burger and some fried bread. Not talking about my- now, dipshit. I'm talking about between the Golden Mike podcast and now. What have you got? I got what I explained. I got. You have uh, been, two you're burritos. dancing around the question, dipshit. What have you got? I like about, nothing. You have got nothing because no, no one not, cares nothing. about you. We're it's doing the battle this of the Franks to fucking entertain. It's about uh, hundred twenty dollars for the food. Doing this to hold your feet to the fire. Re-add. You haven't gotten any fucking thing, and that's sad. I got You've been living under a fucking it's not sad. bridge. It's one of the best restaurants in You're so at a bus depot right now. <laughs> it's not sad. Yeah. I'm eating from a nice restaurant, and I'm a homeless person. Yeah, where do you go after you leave Last the restaurant? Last week, this I was sad. getting food off a food card, and now I'm getting food from people delivered to me on Grubhub to do Again. Uh, Genius. call-out videos over Genius. Facebook. Thank you. Thank you. Genius. Think about what I'm saying from the Golden Mike podcast until now. I'm not talking about what you got now, what you got last week, which I'm actually going to get to that because I'm kind of a little pissed off that you fucking wigged out on me about a goddamn pizza. But then you got, got Wagyu beef when Alex paid for your goddamn pizza. You're welcome. I know. Yeah, and thank you. And, and what I'm saying no, is that's like, showing you're um, unappreciative it, as fuck. Two Franks <laughs> enter, one Frank leaves. I'm trying to answer your question. No, you're I'm not. You're around each pocket. question we have been thrown at you all goddamn night. I don't know what your question is. You're not asking questions. I asked just like, you. Here, here's the question again, Genius. I asked you, <laughs> what answer, have you fucking done answer. since the Golden Mike podcast until now? Answer that question. Recorded ads. Be, oh, Where's between the USB ads and now? Between yes. the USB and, and now yes. and the doing the podcast? Yes. yes, there you go. You're finally fucking getting it. I I I was on the podcast before no. and because of that No, I, I, I did I did an ad for a comic book store and he paid me in That Georgia. was now. Again no, no, no. genius. Thank you. When you was on the Golden Mike Podcast, if I'm saying your podcast wrong, I do apologize. From this in the, July, the when you did that podcast to our podcast, what? what'd you do? Nothing. Thank you. And guess what? After this podcast, you're going to be doing nothing. No, I'm going to be doing Enjoy. ads. Enjoy. And- I, hope, I hope you <laughs> saved some of that fucking pizza. I hope you did. Because after this, no one's going to be doing shit for you. Because you know what? Because they're not laughing with you. They're laughing at you because you're a goddamn joke. Under the bridge no. downtown. You're, gonna be lit. You're at a bus depot right now. You can't even get a Motel 6. Oh, I, think I could if I wanted to. <laughs> Go get the Motel 6 then. Go get it. I do, I don't, I, Go I get did the Motel 6 if you can I do what you want one. to. Go get the Motel 6. Oh, oh, give them some hot wings and a couple of sandwiches and maybe they'll let you stay. Yeah. I'm probably going to try to find a way to <laughs> hook up the cash app <laughs> here, so here. that I can get... Fifty dollars for doing this. Like they're paying me thirty dollars in food, so they're like, 
You, you can't do it get in poor and buy food going and getting paid in food don't. dipshit. S stop saying dollars. Yeah. Sandwiches. Please. You're getting paid in sandwiches. You're getting paid to just get by. Guess what? Everybody on this podcast is I mean, going to be like sleeping the in a bed. And when it's warm bed, your troll ass is going to be on the goddamn bridge. Ah, uh, that's a good time. I recommend the bridge. No, I no, for I him. Only for him. Money for cameo. So, you're not going to make any money on Cameo. Shit. Nobody knows no, who the make fuck you are camera. outside you're of not. this, what we're doing now. Nobody knows who the fuck Watch you are. Watch me. Yeah, turn up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, everything in his life is about to turn you around. You can say that, today. but it's not true. Today is the day. That's 100% right true. That's 100% true. It is, it's you're going to be homeless right today. Now. You're going to be homeless tomorrow. You're going to be homeless a week from now. You're going to be homeless from a month from now. Or whatever email account that's going on. Unless you buckle. Go ahead. As long as you continue to never listen to people, to not realize that, oh, maybe I should figure out what this successful person is doing, motivate myself to do better, and then perhaps I can get something steady going on. Maybe if I would have gotten to be able to get to the question, I would have asked you about, oh, do you have a resume do you, or CV or whatever? Do you realize that pr putting one together would be able to, you know, show your skill set a little bit better instead of making ridiculous videos showing that you have no equipment i know what a successful last. Person, Here's i know what a successful person is doing i know what i'm doing and i'm getting a more successful. Doing what I'm doing. a successful person you don't ask count for you successful. not even close i am more successful than i was last week lucas lucas a successful <laughs> No, you're an idiot. Hold on, Lucas. A successful person does not ask for a job on YouTube. A successful person gets his goddamn ass out of the fucking motel sis. Has to probably take a bath, stops licking deodorant, and go get a goddamn job. Mm. Well, and he gave me a sprite. And he gave me a slurpee. Again, dipshit. <laughs> I could care less. That shit will be fucking And he gave me wings, and I just ate a burger. So, did you like, have a stroke? If for, no, <laughs> I if think I, have, I, if I did. Said, if I think I I you get got me jokes, day, too, because I smell it. If anybody wants to do an ad from me after this point... No, don't no. don't buy ads from him. Don't it's buy not going to help. Him. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wilson, with two dollars. I, I had to. Uh, I had to go for this one. Apparently, Lucas's cameo well, costs one sandwich. If anyone's interested, I just get, he don't get it from Subway either, you fucks. He shit, did, piece he of shit. Me I want firehouse, motherfucker. He paid me forty dollars in food to do what amounts to about two minutes of recording a video. So no, for two he minutes, got ripped the could, fuck yeah. off. Lucas. No, he didn't because this yes, is like did. the second person to do this. Lucas. And there was another guy that was going to send me twenty dollars worth of ice cream. So I started so saying, you like, mean well, someone what else got ripped off." You know what? You what know kind what? of asshole yeah. sends a homeless person ice cream in winter? Here's, here's the thing. Yes, <laughs> I just this is the thing. Lucas, Lucas, I know Lucas. Lucas. No, no, just bury it in the snow and come back for it later. <laughs> I'm still in your joke, Tad. They're paying Jiggly me forty dollars. Yo, yo, listen, listen. Forty dollars. You listen. No, huh? Listen. Shut the fuck up. This is my goddamn show. <laughs> listen, the fact that you like are getting paid in sandwiches and ice cream means you're not successful because people don't even think he doesn't know he's muted. Fucking money. That's what's bad. Yeah, he's just still going on. Oh, one. I know. Yeah. He's just okay. shouting. Let's see how long he goes. Talking, talking. Lucas, you're muted, you fucking idiot. If you shut up and actually open your fucking ears, right, maybe so do another did issue. You did, did you actually hear me? Did you actually hear me? He paid me, he he paid me? me, he he paid me $40 oh in food. Is, is that you your metric for success, one. Lucas? Is that, is is that what you're going to survive on and hand out some food for the rest of your life? You know, we have places like in the UK, we call them food banks, and people tend to use them when they're living in a What I'm doing now is doing info videos, and I will do a one to five I can do this all night, Lucas. Lucas. Cash Lucas, I have done this for two people already. Lucas, I did this for a guy named Nicholas in his comic book store. Mr. Weiner, 
Lucas. worth of food. Well, there was thirty dollars of food. So, sir, Lucas. sir, you're at a bus stop. He was saying that he would have paid me this is a bus stop, sir. Lucas, right? Lucas. Fifty dollars on Lucas. cash app, and Lucas. I will do a one minute Lucas. ad for you. Lucas, 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 Lucas. Hey, there we go. Well, now, this is darling, I have a genuine question to ask you, and I don't. I'm not asking me you. Me um, Fifty dollars to do Lucas, one minute ad. You know what? I was upset when you people put spikes <laughs> on those fucking benches. Shut up, I'm fine with it now. Let me ask you a fucking question. I pay for the piece of you to come on here to fucking listen to what I need to ask you, right? Are you out? Are you fucking autistic? And I'm asking that legitimately. <laughs> legitimately, I am not. You're just rude. Well, well, no, I'm not rude, right? I did try to ask you that fucking question in a very polite manner, but you're going <laughs> to shut the fuck <laughs> up, did you? Right? <laughs> Man, I love British people. You're right. such a right. You're not autistic and you don't have learning disabilities, is that what you're saying? Because I find it very difficult to believe that somebody would accept... He's American are laughing at the British guy. That's... That's well, well yes, but we, well, generally, yes. Um, that's the thing, you know. Uh, I do live in the oh, first one. going to bring up the revolution. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. sure. <laughs> Use it as an argument. Be like G Man. Um, whatever. Um, I'm British. What we do you do? Um, you're also homeless, Lucas. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm the one winning in life compared to you. Um, oh, it's a competition now. Well, you're the one who decided to throw out the British card, son. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, well, I. No, I don't know. You, I'm, 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 I'm trying to try to ask you a serious fucking question without wishing to be mean, right? I asked you, are you autistic? You know, okay, no. Do you, do you legitimately have learning I fucking difficulties? Tested. Do you have learning difficulties? <laughs> no, I, are you my sure? younger brother did. I, do. I have learning difficulties. Okay, I, I, I okay, do too. Learning difficulties. It's fine. Okay, well, I'm you sorry to hear that. But, uh, the reason why I asked that, Lucas, is like, I find it absolutely stunning that you would not, like, you, you have this weird metric for success in life that you're quite happy to, to live on food handouts. Oh, I, I could get money over Cash App or a Cameo. If you want to pay me $50 to do a two-minute Well, I'm not going to pay you $50. We don't so, have for, especially for a fucking Cameo. <laughs> the only people who know who you are are Uslot and Kiwi Farms. True. There so are people how, that are how, paying how me to get paid paid paid. Paid. And at the end of the day, like you keep saying that you're a democratic socialist, yet you are on a capitalistic platform. And you intend to make and to use capitalistic uh, structures in order to make money. I'm, I'm using a capitalistic system to earn money, oh, yes. God. But uh, democratic socialism is about capitalism and socialism. Oh, yeah, I do come so, from the UK. We use that. Sure. If uh, the, the UK like, generally is like, like, like way mentally way more wing, left but... than that. Well, I'd, um, I consider myself more left wing than that. I, I want a system where there's no politicians because Why? I want the people to have the power. Because the people are the people, and the the power should be the people, not the politicians. But the thing is, though, Lucas, hey, whenever, no. I, whenever I've seen a video from you. <laughs> Uh, you've you've been arguing in favour. Look, I'm, let me let me talk about socialism. Whenever I've seen a video from you uh, promoting the idea of democratic socialism, it's not been because you want to seize the means of production. Uh, it's not because you want universal health care. It's it's not because you want uh, things like the welfare system. What we have here in the UK, it seems to be simply based on you acquiring a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Well, whatever you talk about, where's the party? I support, I support the democratic production. Democratic. You're not talking about the system. That's not what democratic, democratic system is about. You're talking about like, you, you, like I've got a video for you, okay. Lucas, right? One of my favorite videos of yours where you're going, you know, feel the burn, you know, why not feel the one? You know, he's an old man, Generation Z, they love left wing. Uh, you know, you go on about age phobia and all that kind of thing. You like to use the language cool. used by the progressive left, for example, like age phobia or whatever else. Right, uh -huh. and uh, you you you're using all of these political terms and phrases in order to justify acquiring a missus. But there's other reasons. Thank you. But I never see you promote those other reasons. I never hear you breaking. Like, like what are the what are the I basic tenets of democratic socialism? Can you explain them to me? A uh, higher tax rate on the uh, people that make more money. Okay. Pay for the things that people will want. It's it's well, high, high it's a consequence of democratic socialism and justice. Yes. And, uh, but 
not generally. Pay your taxes on the rich. You said that one. Pay your taxes on the rich. But you're also three times paying for things that people would like to have, like uh, the medical system and better education. That one. Infrastructure. So you, you're so uh, okay. Well, so let's take the higher taxes Can thing, I even though that's more of a consequence and more of the democratic justice, but um, not so it's much as the actual so democratic socialism. Universal health care. Universal health care. Okay, I'll accept that. Go on. Uh, infrastructure, repairing the roads and the internet system, postal service. So you, you're, you're for the national. You're for the nationalization of what? The internet. It's not a bad idea. They've done it in some state. What? Um, uh, Americans, I don't believe anywhere in the United States of America do you have nationalized internet. No. Uh, no, 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 we have regionalized uh, monopolies, which are pretty fucking bad. Yes. Yeah, they're yeah, very I, bad. AT and T, yeah, and Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, so, I, would, I wouldn't be against, like, you know, government going in block and breaking those up, or even some cities actually have um, their own internet infrastructure that they put up in Comcast, fucking hated it type shit. But he's not smart enough to look into it to see that even for a half a second, and he's just screaming buzzword. Or realize yeah. that a more effective way at being able to handle these sorts of things, instead of screaming these empty platitudes and making these little short videos on wherever you're putting them, is to actually figure out how to contact your, you know, your your local like congressperson, how to put together something that's requesting a change in these particular laws and bills, and how to start working towards that because that's how shit gets changed. Or do it. And, and then, and then I, he might hire I, you, and he'll pay you at least seven sandwiches a week. <laughs> Did he tell That's me to go do it? Day. Yeah, he said told Why you to go, you do, go it. do it. I work in civil litigation. I am. am. You have <laughs> no <laughs> job. You have nothing but free time, and you won't do this. Are you a <laughs> Your only non-free time is trying not to get murdered. You a slacktivist? Is that what's going on right now? Yes, he he's the worst kind. I have a legitimate question again to ask. And again, I'm not being rude, Lucas. I'm not being rude, right? But do you... Uh, I imagine you've heard of concepts like his um, state-issued girlfriend, for example. Oh. Is, is that something you'd be interested Whoa. in? State-issued girlfriend? Yeah, as in, basically... You know, the, being given a girlfriend who, you know, obviously it's not slavery, you know, obviously women would sign up to be state-issued girlfriends and then for men such as yourself who struggle to find love in your life could sign up to this program um, and they are paid by the state to be your other half, you know? So they're getting paid to be your girlfriend. How much are they getting paid? Oh, I, 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 a fair rate. 14 sandwiches. What's a fair rate? <laughs> Uh, let's say let's say fifty thousand dollars a year. You've already answered and this wrong. And they're and they're doing this of their own accord. Yeah, well, you you can't have slavery. Like you know, it's kind of against the constitution. No, no racketeering. No. <laughs> so the, they're signing up to be your girlfriend for fifty thousand dollars a year. That's what you're saying. That's what I'm Which suggesting place? as an idea, as a form of welfare. Seems like a job. Well, but what would she have to do? That right? What would she have to do? Would she have to like cook for you and have sex with you and stuff? <laughs> oh, oh, we're not, we're not so much <laughs> cooking. What That's the fuck is things. happening? <laughs> the answer right off the bat: Should we have a state issue girlfriend? No. No, let's not do that. You're asking way too many questions. <gasps> He's getting into I think this. That's how people, I'm not familiar with this idea of a state issue girlfriend. I'm trying to figure out it's what that, we're talking about. <laughs> All you, you had to say is... Public? Well, hold on for a second. There's actually well, a very, with this plot. I mean, just answering things in yes or no isn't very entertaining. I'm curious, so I'd like to know what the hell you're talking about. Well, sure. There's, a, there's, a, hint I, there's a hint I called Dropout, okay? And so uh, it's a new state pro... I'm not even joking. There's literally a hint I with a state issues men, uh, women who have done poorly in society. They, you know, they, they dropped out of school. Uh, they suck at whatever their job well, is. So they get employed oh, poorly in society, the state to. And these women are being paid to do what exactly? Right, they're, they're being paid. What are they paying these women? That one of the positions uh, in this program. The government. Is I'm not, I'm not <laughs> so the government. 
Oh. God damn it, Alice. <laughs> The All government right. is paying I'll their see what to do what exactly? <laughs> yeah. exactly. Where are both your hands? Oh, what are they paying these women to do? Are I, they paying I, them to cook for you and sleep with you? They're, oh, they're, and they're already fifty thousand dollars. Lose their gag like, reflex. It's a hentai. They're getting. Are you serious? <laughs> They're getting no, they won't have a problem with the worm here, man. Their only hey, job is to help I, I, motivate the men who are doing well in society. Uh, you know, I, 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 motivate them. How do they motivate them by having sex with them? Yeah, for, yeah. Like, for other reasons. That's their job. Yeah, they're like sex. They're legal you get sex. Yeah, obviously, not that. necessarily. Like, you, obviously, in a relationship, you work but, as a team. You know, you can take turns in cooking. <laughs> you know, some, so, sometimes you can take out. <laughs> Really? So she's You're earning fifty thousand dollars a year to be this guy's wife. Well, They're paying her fifty thousand dollars to be this guy's wife. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm, all I'm doing here is I'm just spitballing, Lucas. You know, fifty thousand. I don't know um, how much. Sure. I mean, yeah. yeah why not? Fifty thousand. I mean, could you pay a guy right? to be a husband? Fifty thousand is not really a lot of money, especially like if you, you got to think about it. If you're okay. in this high yeah, scenario yeah. and you're oh, you high, right, it's it's like that's a lot, especially if it's someone who looks like, <laughs> like the guy in your mirror. So <laughs> if you're putting up with a whole lot of stuff that you may not want to. What the fuck is for, that? for what? For fifty thousand a year? Again, no, oh, they a lot so of quitting. Did you, did you get a car? Yeah, fifty well, thousand, man. If you get, compare it to yeah. his nineteen <laughs> sandwiches a year. It's a lot of money. They get full, full health care and um, they get a company car and mobile phone. How does that grab you? Do they have to have children with these guys? No, well, you don't have to have children. No. What if they paid them? At least. Uh, no. Nope. Well, no, <laughs> that, that could be an option, couldn't it, Lucas? You know, we, you know, we, we have to play it by ear, don't we? You know, this is giving me hard. Uh, we go in competition, but okay. Don't drive while you're gone, Frank, with that heart. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Right this idea. This sounds you, great. Are you in favor of the idea? I Sure, why not? I couldn't afford it, but hey, why not? No, it, it, it's a problem. State issued, dingus. State issued oh, yeah, and the women are earning $100,000 a year. Yeah, fair. He's the paying $0. Are, so, so the women are getting paid? They're giving they're, 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 you're work? paying zero dollars because you're a useless piece of shit who doesn't have a job. <laughs> this is an example of some of the social services and welfare services you're wanting. So just this is, this is how they work. So I don't have a problem with walking. I'm trying to lose weight. Oh God! Uh, I'm, I'm actually very how curious. How are you fat homeless? <laughs> the sort of the sort of tone with this. I, I, would, yeah, I would think about this the other day. What is your ideal mate? Like, just, you know, the, her dimensions, you know, her numbers, whatever. Uh, her I education feel. level, profession, you know. My ideal that. chick? My ideal wife? My ideal girlfriend? What, she, what would she be like? I mean, I, ideally, this person you're going to be with for some extended amount of time. So probably your wife. Okay, probably like 18 years old, good looking, on a roll at a, at, at a college, like like maybe five foot tall, any color hair, any color race, uh, pretty, uh, interesting, can uh, hold the conversation, any color race, <laughs> um, like on a roll student, maybe even earns more money than I do. Well, that's not hard. No, no yeah. Legit. She has to pick well, up a single no. penny, and then she's nailing it. <laughs> Bro, well, I mean, how much grub did she yeah. get this week, though? I would prefer it if she was a, like a 22-year-old doctor. Oh, oh those are, wow. those, yeah, there's a lot of those. <laughs> uh, wait. <laughs> 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 was basically, you're looking for the Houser? female Doogie oh, Hauser. Hold yeah. on, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, she got a job. Job. No, but not gay, Lucas. but not gay. So she she had like a like a eighteen year old doctor. A genius level IQ. Just just so oh, you're aware, good. the youngest hey, doctor I good. know is a friend of mine who's younger than me. Okay? This is America. He's exist. If she, if she lived in if she lived in Thailand and she was an eighteen year old doctor, if she wanted me as her mate, I would be down she does not. She, she, just she might have a penis. She does not. Well, then she's not my ideal chick. 
No, the, the lady in Taiwan literally just texted me. She said, no, thank you. Yeah. Well, oh, a lady in Taiwan texted yeah, you. you don't know to a different school. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm sure there's plenty of women in the United States that are beautiful, intelligent, well-paid women that can hold a conversation and would like hanging out with me. And zero no, percent of but, them would choose to sleep with you. What What would you offer or, them in return? Or, or they're no paid women and they have no jobs, be, be but they're too. interesting and they're pretty and they're fun to talk to. And, and so none of them would choose to sleep with you. So, like you can I, keep I, on I making know. brackets, and almost all of them are gonna say no. So, just, Basically, I'm going somewhere with this. Hold on for a second. All right. So, I get paid fifty dollars to do one minute ads. That's, that's cool. Okay. So the woman that she, what I get, you want a woman that is willing, well educated, which is fair. No. Uh, but also, you know, also very good looking. Now, it's been my experience that women who are well educated, well good looking, have higher standards than, let's say, your average woman, probably not well educated. Is that fair? Yes. Lucas, is that fair? Is that a fair assessment of most women? I don't care if she's well educated or not educated, as long as she's oh. pretty and nice to me. Okay, so pretty, so as long as she's nice to you and pretty, that's what you prioritize. That's there all everything a man wants. That I, that's all you want. Uh, so that's fine. I just I'm just trying to get an idea. I mean, she didn't have to be halfway intelligent to carry on a conversation. Oh, well, sure. She didn't have to be incredibly, you know, educated. Um, so uh, for her to be with you, she had to get kicked in the head by a horse. So <laughs> like, in order for more than once, as far as as far as her being nice to you. Because this, this is going to relate to something I heard you talk about. Uh, you had a video, a series of videos where you talked about people giving you criticism, and you're just going to return uh, hate. You know, give you criticism. So, in respect to that, if you know, prospective woman offers you a bit of constructive criticism, like, would that be nice to you? Yeah, like all my friends offer me constructive criticism. That's why they're my friends. Right, the friends that you've described to me over the past week have been transactional friends that trade uh, sandwiches for weed. So I'm not sure if I'm able to really gauge how constructive these friends are. I have a friend are. in Australia. I got a friend in Minneapolis. I got a friend in the South. I can't remember where she's from. I got all these women friends that want to talk to me, and they worry about me, but we talk about mutual interest things like food and Stop. I got a question. Have you actually like seen their faces and actually talked to them like we're talking now? Yeah. Uh, like, why did I talk them over the phone? I'm talking okay, over that's not talking like this. like this then. Did they look like a catfish? <laughs> you mean like audio? Audio chat? Yeah, I've talked to audio chat with them. Well, thank I'm you guys for having good. me and thank you, Lucas, for coming on to the stream. I really do appreciate it, man. I'm going to bounce uh, out, guys. Have a great right. stream. Oh, All fuck right. you for buying the pizza. Well, I think. Oh, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> <laughs> when people use the term friend, I, I, I have a little bit of a higher standard. There, there's plenty of kids all over the world who watch me for, for years and probably want to swallow my dick. But that doesn't. Guilty. You know, the. <laughs> The best uh, judges of character, right? Well, they may be infatuated with me, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean that they give me good criticism, right? So, how do you just a fan of, you know, the Lucas Warner that they see versus yeah. someone who is an actual dedicated friend of yours? You know what I'm asking? I don't know. I, I, I can earn forty dollars of food to get a do a one minute ad. Maybe I can get fifty dollars to do is fucking a one minute ad. Is, and is that all you came apartment. prepared with today? I'm gonna go walk into traffic. <laughs> I'm an insult comic on the internet. And people You're pay not. me to do You're insult comedy. No. no. no it's insult Billy. And, and, Here, insult and, Billy. And they pay me to do for ads it. for the site because oh, they oh. like the sound of my voice. So they hey, might give me hey, a call. Hey, Jimbo, insult me. Lucas, 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 oh, Lucas, Democratic Socialist, it's a Lucas, capitalist. What? Lucas. What, Lucas, bitch? It's not an insult. Lucas, hey, fuck you, bitch. Uh, insult the guy with the beard. Not this guy. Th th this guy right beside me. Not the, the one that looks like The you. scraggly beard that also looks like a hobo. <laughs> it's not scraggly, you bitch. <laughs> insult right. Insult All right. Come on. ZZ on Toppins. Do it. Um, Who did that? It looks like yeah, ZZ I can do that. <laughs> Let's hear it. What you got, man? Insult. Yeah, insult me. I'm right above you. Yeah, you can it. figure it out. Yeah. 
You look like that Jason Perva guy that said that he hired me to suck his dick when that didn't happen. Already too long and Wait. too specific. Wait, somebody what the dick hired wasn't. you to do what? Oh, he, he, he started this rumor that I sucked his dick. <laughs> and then... It's a rumor. Yeah, so I was like, is there any evidence behind this? And people were like, they, they shut up after that point because there's no evidence behind this. Theoretically, uh, just, if you were going to do that, though, how many sandwiches? <laughs> I'm not smoking any guy's dick for any amount of sandwiches. I'm you know, are you hundred sure? sandwiches. I come up, I have a hundred sandwiches. You sucking my dick. I don't. <laughs> Bro, I actually know a sandwich <laughs> artist. Like, we can make this happen. 200 sandwiches. No, so. See, the important no. question to ask with this is, do I have to swallow? Sandwiches, sandwiches, of course. The important don't get it. I'm going to talk to you a lot, sweetheart. I think maybe 100 wings a day for a year. You know, just start handing them out to homeless people. To suck a dick? You got to give me a... Yeah, do the homeless people have after, to suck after, dick? after this year is up, after you give me 100 wings a year. No, backwards. No. Nope. Pay up the dick first. That and then you get the wings. is like you can get the holes in your mouth, dick. too. Also, oh. they can't be hot wings if you're about to suck the dick afterwards. That's, like, that's rude. <laughs> you got to give me 100 wings a day for a year, and they're all going to be hot wings. Okay. But you're gonna suck the dick idea. every day, right? So, so if I purchase, no, no, no. Well, hold on for a second. If I purchase 100 hot wings you, for you a day, you, year, you I'll, will. I'll give you one. <laughs> no, I'm just, no I, I don't know. I, why don't you just go with a better offer than what I gave you? What I gave you is going to cost you like 200 dollars a day. No, backwards. So basically what I would do is, because you're a hobo, I would just buy all the wings on one day because like, I would get them on Wing Wednesday where they're 50 cents a piece because you're dumb and you wouldn't notice it. Um, <laughs> so that would cost me 18 grand for you to suck my dick. <laughs> on Wing Street, did the math. bitch. You did the math. A hundred wings a day. Yeah, I you did the math. You dumbass, but I said a hundred wings a day for a year. Yeah, that's 18 yeah. grand. That's not a lot of money to put a penis in your mouth. <laughs> I mean, you but is it more successful than the sandwiches for the voice acting? Yeah, can you, can you do some voice acting while you're gobbling the knob? Like, is that possible? Can Pretend it's your microphone because this is as good of a quality as what you use. You could probably get that for $50 on Backpage Game. No, not for me. I mean, well, I mean, you you're gonna pay eighteen thousand dollars for something you can get on a, on a gay dating site for like fifty bucks. Or yeah, I'm, use their any use their tea. I'm pretty sure my dick would get gingivitis from your face. <laughs> like that's not happening. You, you're the worst businessman in the world. Like he if, if you wanted this, you could probably go on Grinder and get this. I'm for not free. the person who gave you hot wings yeah. to shout out their fucking goddamn comic book store. That guy in, clearly is the worst businessman. Yeah, you're getting paid in sandwiches. Who's the worst businessman here? My boss is an asshole money. and pays me in money. You're just mad because he's making if all I was that doing this in cash. If I was doing this in cash, I'd probably get I probably would have got like uh no would it be like hundred hundred dollars today. He got me like a hundred dollars worth of food. He got me. I can't uh, even get that. Why didn't he just and I have years money, of then? experience. He He's gave me all the stuff from Seven Eleven, and then he gave me this stuff from Clinker Digger. So Stop I'm sure saying that. that. Hey, it's like a hundred dollars for the food. Hey, real Make quick, I'm gonna ask you something. For, um, looking for two one-minute ads to call out this guy that stole his girlfriend on a. A yeah, video game. Yes, cool. you have, you've said this. Hey, okay. hey, Lucas. Uh, this is right. a this is a question that's in, so, in my fuck. Shush, you really shush, 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 shut your fucking mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. And this this talk way too goddamn much. Uh, Lucas, for years, shush, 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 jingly keys. Thank you, Lucas. For years, crowded about inventing a time machine to win the lottery. Ask him about this. Hmm. Did you invent a time machine to win the goddamn yeah, lottery? Are you, uh, about oh, based right. on your current Black living lottery. situation, no. Have you, have you no, it's just a theory. Huh? It's just a theory. No, no, that's, not no, that's a hypothesis or like... Not even that. I was about to say, dude. 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 I was about
You need to do less crack or more of it. I can't tell. <laughs> Probably more. I think it's a weird a lot more. Think so, some of y'all may not know, but Lucas is currently working on a board game. Come on. No, I'm not going to lie about that. Let's, Are you not really working on a board game? Couple of them. What, 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 name, and what, what's one of their names? Daisy Marvin. Okay, I'm already out. Bless you. <laughs> All right. What's your problem? You wouldn't know her. No. That, uh, that is technically your problem. If I'm out, I am the consumer. You are the uh, manufacturer. And if I'm out, that's your problem, not mine. One in a chat if you're Who already you? out. Yeah, why, don't you all those ones? why don't you pitch the idea for the game? And we can tell you, like, if it's... We can be the sharks! It's over an hour long of him explaining how the game works. Oh, God. Because, see, that's a bad business move there. You pick up solid... There's a one, 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 there's a sit, sit, sit. Thank you, Blackout TV. Fet Life, one, one... God damn it. Um, uh, also, ask him if he enjoyed being in four points restraints after the security guard cock blocked you. I was dealing with that from Do what? He was he was explaining how he was a Bernie Sanders supporter. He said the only reason that oh, wait, anybody wait, wait, loves you is because that, you have a nice car in classes. So it wasn't because you was talking to a lady and making her feel comfortable and he told you to quit and you got pissed and he... You yelled at him to, that you you're cock blocking. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what he was doing because I talked to her later on okay, a different so that's hospital. Different, that that's week. different from what you were telling me. You was talk, so you, you went off some Bernie uh, Sanders rant, um, but that's not. Yeah, I thought what you really didn't happened. know that. And then, a toast? <laughs> and later on, <laughs> where is it? Uh, oh, hey, it, listen, later I met up with that chick. No, 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 no. Explain on that story. I want to hear that story. I'm trying to explain it. You keep interrupting me. Now you know how I feel. Later. No, you're, just, you're talking about other shit, bro. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm talking about what you brought up. You brought up this chick that this orderly said that I was annoying, right? Okay, and that's your cue to fucking on, leave, right? Uh, no, later on in a different hospital that week. Her and I became friends, and we're talking. And she said that she remembered me, and I remember her from that hospital. And we were friends while we were in the hospital together. Another hospital after that. It's about the like that. That orderly was a dumb shit. We didn't know what the hell he was talking about because her and I became friends. You oh, just said she had a boyfriend, I, so I didn't really make any. I movie. get it. You're the you're the kid that thinks he can date his babysitter. <laughs> Wait, you just said and that, the, 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 that, that she said that to leave. To be Hold on, you there just it is. said you nailed it. Yeah. That was huge, hilarious. Bigot. Nailed it. You just said that she told you to leave you alone. And no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I said no, I didn't. The orderly said that, but later on, her and I became friends at a different hospital because she liked me. But that's not the that's that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about as a you patient. Got, yeah, you sound like a Republican. You sound like an idiot, dude. You're the guy that's no, going like around with. You, you're the guy that's going around saying all these buzzwords, trying to act like you're fucking left to get some pussy when you can't even fucking get any. You just know where they are. Patience, grasshopper. You said it's been eight fucking years. <laughs> yeah, he's very patient. Yeah. Joe over here. I'm just very well planned in how I no, approach. Eight what years I... to spring a plan? <laughs> You're very shitty at plan. <laughs> this is the comedy. This is, this is the. So we're in the homeless part of your plan right now? Yeah, Am I hearing like... this correctly? That well, part doesn't affect my plan. They, uh, oh, I plan... it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. Especially when you can't get money and you get paid in fucking no, sandwiches. Really. I'm just I'm curious. You got paid, though. Well, hold on for a second. No, you don't. Let me, let me, let me ask, let me ask my wife. Hey, dear, would you fuck a homeless guy? <laughs> no. If he didn't smell too <laughs> homeless. Hey, were you the homeless? <laughs> were you the, oh, did you meet up with a uh, fat, uh, what, what was her name? Uh, um, yeah, Booty uh, Booty? Yeah, fun, uh, have you ever met a, a girl named Booty Booty? She says she fucked somebody Never. that was, uh, almost smelled homeless. That could have been you. That sounds Never. like you. Never heard of oh, you didn't Were you carrying around she a stack bit of older. DVDs? She definitely doesn't pass for 18. Uh, true. No, she's obese as fuck, too, but, but her skin's I definitely tight. You. I guarantee yeah, she's she sandwiches. 
the 30 were on you know, the environmental scientist. She thought that she could pass for 18. I'm there just like, no. She never said oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, you knew better, didn't yeah, you? She did. No, she didn't. Yeah, she did. No, she didn't. She said that she could pass for 18. I swear to God. Said it zero I swear time. to your God. <laughs> I, I, it it literally time. says atheist, like right here. Hey, just because she's an atheist doesn't mean that she can't just no, be an no, educated you said, you idiot. Like, fuck. Oh, fucking wow. Christ. <laughs> So deluded that she too much to follow. Pass for an eighteen-year-old. She never said that zero times. It's a lot of, lot the of most narcissistic people on the internet, internet ever. Lucas, a lot of deluded people on the internet. Yeah, yep. some people think they can get She's paid uh, fifty dollars a day doing cameos because they got hot wings once. They got a plan, bro. Don't worry about it. The plan is in full effect. Mm -hmm. Just you I can wait. probably get fifty to one hundred dollars a day for doing a one-minute ad. Then fucking no, do can't. it. Do it then. Yeah, well, why that's not working. It? If you if you can, then do it for then. do it for two weeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not just one day. Yeah. Okay, and people in our chat, do not I'm give him fifty dollars to troll him, him so he does this for the rest of his life. Because <laughs> well, that would be hilarious. <laughs> don't do it. Thanks to the the pumping from the geek room, I've been getting work. So thank you. Mm, you have. Mm -hmm. I have. Have you? I got, I got, what, this you is get? work? Got yes, yeah, I got from a random comic get book store that doesn't watch us. Yes. I saw that was some, us. Uh, we caused that. Job. Some frozen catfish delivered to your well, door. You <laughs> that, well, did you eat that catfish, by the way? Yeah, why'd you get mad about no. the catfish? You threw away good I food. Did you try to sleep with it? So you threw away the food. Yeah, I didn't eat that shit. It's fucking I had food, to cook it. dude. You could yeah, cook it. I don't have any way yeah. to cook it. And just you're a hobo. Just build you a, a trash campfire. I don't where, care. Uh, where am I going to find a place to cook catfish? Build, just build a, a fire? Have you, trash can fire. Have you ever heard of that YouTube? What do you think I'm a homeless person? Um, Yes. <laughs> oh. You are a homeless person. That's what I know. Dude, yeah, I'm pretty it. sure you can find some things under the bridge, build you a fire, cook the catfish, and bam, you got it. That's not really what I do. I go to yes, places to work. I've been homeless before. I've been on like Have on you? the street, proper home. Yeah. And it wasn't I got out of it and didn't go back into it again. Like well, good. So, I mean, sometimes people <laughs> luck out. All right, so but I right. didn't luck out. I I taught myself like skills and an education, and then presented that to somebody, and they're like, "Holy shit, this is worth a lot!" And they brought me on and had my own business. Yeah, it's, it's a take while. <laughs> uh, to be got fair, an offer. To yeah. to be fair, he does have way more bathrooms than we do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, I usually just go to the bus station. Are you getting kicked out yeah. yet? How do you get kicked out of the woods? I'm talking about the bus station. I'm, shit. I'm sure you'll find I would hope. Uh, where are those California oh, no, fires? Um, How are they doing? Um, go north. I have, to, I have to go, you guys, because I have to go, go to this other place. So I'm checking out. All right. Never see you again. Bye. Bye. This was very productive. Wow, I feel like my IQ has dropped significantly. <sighs> my brain hurts. We're dumb. We're dumber now. Like, yes. mm -hmm. just accept that we are all dumber. So these socialists, like, they—I don't know, like, <laughs> just wow, like these communists and these chicks, like, they just this is slinging like, puss. They, they sandwich you, like, they they offer you stuff, and. <laughs> Like it's like a it's like a broken speaking spell. You just you wait long enough, and it just repeats itself. The cow says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop. The cat this. says, "Hey, I got a, a gig doing an audio thing. I got eighty bucks worth of Grubhub." <laughs> also, we're taking bets uh, in our chat. Let's see, where is it? You got to pull the string like really long to get that one. By the way, I I, I wanted to at some I was laying down with my wife because I started laughing too hard, but I wanted to <laughs> you ask delete him, it. Why does he call himself Doctor Worm uh, when he clearly hasn't earned anything in any academic field ever? Uh, you could have ended that sentence. How so does he quicker. plan on actually like earning his PhD? <laughs> like I I want to hear what how he thinks it works. 
Jeez. Uh, sandwiches. Uh, Five dollars from <laughs> Fit and Kirby. Here's some pizza money. Also, I never said I looked eighteen. Um, I try to get so many questions, but god damn it, guys, like <laughs> it was just. I mean, you saw what we were up against, yeah. right? It, it was a, it was an honest try. Thing. You made it, the, we we actually got had a good attempt in to try and get him to focus, but that's easier said than done. Yeah, Jesus, like I. There's, there's, I had to back off because there was a certain <laughs> point where his brain was smoking and you could see it. And I'm like, these aren't hard questions. They're really not. It gave me heartburn. I had to go get You're a dick, Billy. <laughs> What'd you do? I just don't understand how he, that's going to work out when he goes to, you know, goes to college or whatever and takes classes. Like, is he going to actually learn anything? Like, I, is that possible? He, he's not to going show. to college. I want to be a guest lecturer. I mean, he's not going to college. I really do, just so I can just teach one course with him in it, just so I can see him. He's not going. Uh, oh, I know, I know, but hypothetically, that'd be funny as shit. All right, I'm changing. It's up like Rev up. actually kicking his fucking shanty out of his house. It's not happening. <laughs> well, you travel with the Snorlax without a pokey flute doesn't work out too well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my thing up, shit. Well, get it up, Frank. Come on, get it up for after, us. After tonight, don't be shy. After tonight, it's probably not going to be coming up. Let's just. Oh, my chest uh, doors. I do have an after show plan. Sucks. If you guys want to do that, we can fucking hop over there and you guys can um, fucking yell at us. Out of, I don't know. <laughs> like Or not. Or not. Yeah. I'm, I'm spit. Go Drained. To to defeated. Shout out to Irate Alex for supplying the pizza that caused this. Yes. Also, <laughs> fuck Irate Alex for supplying yeah, the right. pizza that caused this. Um, so, yeah, if anybody wants in, um, I got it set up. I'm going to end this because it should be ended. Yes. AIDS. <laughs> yes. Full yes. blown AIDS. <laughs> You've got the AIDS. All right. I'm going to see. Uh, all right. Yeah. I'm ending it. Uh, we'll see everybody at the after show. Later. Well, I guess I got to eat another guy's jizz.